Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Edwin back for Strictly Comics, and I got this week's pull list. Here's the bag right here. And I'm going through this not really in any particular order, kind of, but not really. So I'm just going to kind of get into it. Open this up real quick. All right. First thing we got is... All Out War Midnight Release Party. But had I known that, man, eh, I probably wouldn't have been up at midnight anyways to do it. But um, I got my Walking Dead copies. But it's still kind of cool. They got it kind of like a postcard, which is kind of neat. So, you know, I just got it basically just because, you know, they're free. Free little handouts. And speaking of which, the first comic for this week is... The Walking Dead number one. Now, some of you might be like, dude, why'd you get this? I mean, it's not first printing. It's not the one 10 years ago. Why did you get it? The reason why I got it is because this is the first Walking Dead in color. As we know, Walking Dead from the very beginning has been printed in black and white. And in my opinion, it's because cutting costs on their budget. I don't care what anybody says. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. There's really no reason why you would do a comic in black and white. But it's the first time Walking Dead was in color, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to check it out. You know, kind of cool. I really thought it was really cool, so that's why I got it. Next, I got Forever Evil Arkham War number one wasn't really gonna get this comic book but you know what you guys DC is doing such a great job printing their comic books with the glossy cover I absolutely love that to me that's that's high class that's top-notch you're giving the consumer something that they want and that they deserve for the amount of money that they're paying for a comic book. So I really love that. I have no problem spending money when DC is putting out high quality paper for comic book collectors and comic book readers. So I got this. Next I got Infinity Part 4. Very thick cover. I think that Infinity is doing a pretty decent job of kind of giving readers more than that 20 page nonsense and they seem to be putting up quite a good story now i am not caught i'm not up to date with this because with villains month it really it there was so much reading in villains month it really kind of kept me back from keeping up to date with the current major story arc so i'm a little bit behind but i plan on getting caught up i think Saturday or Sunday when I had my day off I think I read like 11 or 12 comic books in one day <laughs> so I was really trying to catch up and I was really thankful for that uh, because it was actually a great great day just chilled stayed at home and just read comics I was pounding them out and I actually really enjoyed all the stories that I was reading you guys next I got Walking Dead 115 All Out War blank variant cover. The reason why I got this cover is because, as you guys know, back when issue 100 came out, the blank variant covers were actually hard to get. At least that's what I've been told. And this one was actually hard to get. This was the very last one, and somebody took this and put it in the very back of the, the, the stack on the shelf. So I had to kind of look and see and I found this and I took it. And actually you guys, this is a 9.8 copy. This copy is near flawless. And I got this because I hope one day to have somebody draw zombie stuff on these blank covers. I really do. Um, would love to have McFarlane do it. We'll see. But that's why I got it, because these were kind of hard to get when number 100 came out. 
And like I said, this was the very last one that I saw on the shelf. Next, you guys, I got Transformers Robots in Disguise number 21. B cover, didn't really look too much for the A cover. There was other stuff that I was looking for, but I actually kind of like this cover. Um, so, yeah, and as we continue to see Dark Cybertron Prelude, but they've been saying that for like four months now, so I don't know what that's about. Next, you guys, I got Katana number eight. I'm not caught up with this with this title I think I read the first two issues and that was it I need to get caught up otherwise I'm going to have to stop having this in my pull box because I'm steady buying it but I'm not reading it but I know that the first two issues were actually really good I really enjoyed them trying to branch out into new stuff a little bit too because um, you know ninjas and swords and stuff like that I think that's kind of cool next I got Batman number 24 um, I didn't even realize how much this was so I just looked at the cover <laughs> I didn't know it was that much I'm like gosh anyways but it's a very very thick book and we see why um, you know we see why the price because it is a very very thick book but very anxious to get into this because we haven't read Zero Year in a couple of months with this whole Villains Month so definitely going to be checking that out Next, I got Damsels number 10. Not for me. This is for my wife. She's a Damsels reader, so I got this for her. Independent titles, they're not always consistent. I don't think she's had a Damsel issue in probably two or three months. So this is the first one that came out within that time period. Next, I got Walking Dead 115, cover A. All Out War Part 1. You know, whenever Walking Dead does a major event, somebody usually dies. So it's going to be crazy to see how this turns out. Next, I got X Men number 7, Battle of the Atom Part 7. Actually, what is this? Oh, X Men number 6. I'm sorry. X Men number 6. Battle of the Atom Part 7. Very good story arc, although it's been a little bit redundant with all the time traveling. And now we have like three or four different X-Men. And to be honest with you, because of the last issue, it kind of duped down my rating a little bit on the story arc. Because there's just too much time traveling going on. It's, it's, it can be a little confusing. You can get a little lost. Um, they need to just carry on with the story because... It's just a lot of time travel back and forth, and it's like, okay, get on with the story, please. Um, it's just starting to get a little uh, a little boring a little bit. Uh, next, I got Superman Wonder Woman number one. I was not going to get this issue, but I was flipping through it because, as you guys know, I'm going to start flipping through books now before I buy it because I'm not going to waste my money. And I saw at the very end that there's a character that shows up and I don't want to spoil it for you guys so I'm not going to say who it is but it's a character that I have been a fan of for about 20 years now ever since he came on the scene in the DCU so that's pretty much the reason why I bought this book plus it's a number one everybody's going to be getting it everybody's going to be talking about it so we'll see how it is <clears throat> next I got three number one and the reason why I got this is image title it's a number one issue so I was like you know what image right now they can tend to be pretty hot especially with number one number one so I, I went ahead and grabbed it and I think it's only a uh, I think it's a limited series it's like either three or five issues and that's it so I picked it up and we'll see how it is we'll see Next, you guys, I got Bushido number two. I did not do a review of the first one, but I read it and I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Bushido number one. Uh, it was you could kind of force you could kind of foresee what was going to come as you were reading it, but it was still very entertaining, very good. 
Um, I, I, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a 5 out of 5. And of course, if it's only 20 pages, it would get a 4.5 out of 5. So that's pretty much my rating on number one. And I can't wait to see how this one is going to be. Next, you guys, I got... Sorry. <laughs> Paragon number one. What is Paragon number one? This is an independent comic book which was sent to me, and I want to give him a shout out, by Mr. Paul from SHN Comics. SHN stands for... I had it a minute ago. Oh, yeah. Superhero Network Comics. Independent title. Somebody's trying to do their own thing. He hit me up and was like, hey, what's your guidelines for doing a review? I kind of told him, talked to him on the phone. He sent me uh, um, some comics. And, and you know what? Because of that, I'm definitely going to do a review on this and get it posted up. And I will probably even get it posted on geekedoutnation.com trying to promote the little man because I got to give somebody all kinds of props for doing what we only dream of doing as a child making our own comic books well Paul went out and he did it himself he does the writing but he has somebody else that does the artwork in the comic book so I'm definitely going to do a review on this book and let you guys know how it is. I can tell you right now that the paper quality is very, very good. Far far superior than, than what Marvel is putting out right now. So he's already getting mad props because of that. Watch out for a review. I'm definitely going to do a review on this. And make sure you guys check it out. Next, you guys. And finally, I got Paragon number one. This is an alternate cover. Same writer, different artist, but same story. I will leave a link in the description below on where you can go to check out this comic book if you're interested. It's only $2.99. Definitely affordable. And like I said, the paper quality is really good. And I'm definitely going to do a review. I'm probably going to do a review on both because I think the story is the same, but the artwork is different from, through both. I will say this, that this issue that Paragon is actually published quarterly. So they only come out with one book every three months. So I say support the little man, you guys, because again, anybody that wants to do something like this, something that we only think about doing but never do, you have to give him a shot. You have to support the little man. You have to see what he's trying to do, see what he's all about, and give him his respect for doing something like this because... You know, not a lot of people put time and effort into doing something like this. So, mad respect for anybody that does stuff like this. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, you know, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my pull list and my reviews. I really appreciate it. We're almost up to 100 subscribers. I plan on maybe doing a giveaway or something i'm not really sure again don't take me at my word been really busy lately still working like six days a week so but we'll see i really want to do something just to give i'm i'm like a giving type of person i love doing it it brings me happiness to see other people happy and enjoying themselves so i definitely want to do something like that but we'll see i ask that you guys please subscribe like comment support this channel uh, share this on Facebook, whatever. I really appreciate it, you guys. I'm trying to definitely get up to 100 subscribers pretty soon because I really enjoy doing this. It's a nice hobby of mine and it brings me a lot of joy to contribute to the comic book community. And pray for me that I continue to do so because I've been doing this now for a little over a year. Didn't really think that I would be doing it for a little over a year, but I have been. So, that being said, thank you so much again. As always, keep God first in your life. Enjoy your comic books, though, and God bless you guys. I'm out.